Good morning. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're just going to make a simple oven omelet. I love oven omelets because you can basically put whatever you want in. Today I'm going to do onions, sausage, pepper, or for Australians, capsicum, and some cheese. But you could also add zucchini, roasted potato, or carrot. While the onions and meat are frying, I'm just going to chop up this capsicum pepper. You don't want everything to be over fried because it's going to go back in the oven once the eggs in, so just get a bit of a saute on it. I'm not too worried about the, uh, the, the sausage is quite salty, so I'm not adding more salt, but I am adding a bit of pepper here. Now while that's frying, I'm going to crack about a dozen eggs. Uh, this kind of pan takes about 10, 8 to 10 eggs. You can probably get away from the oven. See how you go. I think that's going to be about good. Add one more for good measure here. Add a bit of salt and pepper here. You can add um, cream or milk to this part. I just like to leave the eggs in their natural state. Um, you can see the yolks are so beautifully yellow because they're chickens, or chooks as we call them in Australia, um, live in our citrus orchard. They keep the bugs and pests down, aerate the soil, eat the grass and the bugs, and lay us delicious eggs every day. We're very blessed. When those are nicely whipped, kind of give this another bit of a fry here. Knock back the heat a tiny bit. And kind of get everything sitting evenly across your pan so that everyone gets an equal bite of all the deliciousness in the omelet. And take your... I just sort of make a circular motion here. Get all the omelet kind of evenly distributed. I'm going to keep it baking for a little while here. Um, kind of tuck the edges in here. Keep the heat on about medium. You see everything starting to bubble up and get cooked. So when your omelet is semi-cooked in the center and you can see it starting to cook around the edges, it's time to pop it in the oven. Fresh tomatoes are obviously the best on top of an oven omelet, but our season has ended, so I'm just going to do a few sun-dried tomatoes. We had a beautiful hot summer and a big abundant uh, tomato harvest, so we dried a lot of tomatoes this year in the sun and partially in the oven when it rained and I'm going to chop this uh, these chives up as well to put on the top you can also put cheese inside the omelet I just like it on the top get your cheese all grated now it's a great time for that just you're going to keep an eye on the omelet it takes anywhere from depending on your oven about 15 to 20 minutes to finish up if you pop the oven a little warmer, it'll go faster, but you might have uh, burned edges and raw inside. This has been in literally about five or six minutes. It's going really well. I'm just going to turn it around, angle it to the other side of the oven, let it finish up. When the surface is pulling away and from the edge and not shiny anymore, pop your cheese on there and your chives and tomatoes or whatever else you want to do. I'm going to just throw it in the oven for a couple seconds, get everyone to the table, and then serve it. So when the cheese is nice and melted and bubbly, bring it on out, pop it on something that can handle heat, and serve it with a pipe server. So there you have it, a simple oven omelet. Delicious, nutritious, feeds on the crab.